Hey guys, welcome to Flearn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on flearn.com where we make learning fun. Today we're comparing all of the top programs out there for reducing noise in your images. So our main goal for this video is to find the best noise reduction software out there. There are a lot of new programs saying, hey, we've got artificial intelligence that does a great job of this. So we're going to put that all to the test. We're going to be doing Photoshop, Topaz Labs, DxO, Luminar, and we're going to use an online tool that I think does a great job as well. So being that this is mainly a Photoshop channel, that's where we're going to start, Photoshop. So here's our sample image. You guys can download this if you want to. Our sample image, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to just right click and we're going to convert this to a smart object because we're going to be running a filter on this. So I'm going to go to filter. We're going to go down to noise and I'm just going to go down to reduce noise. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Now we do have a few different options here in Photoshop. I can change my strength of my noise reduction. You can see in the original quite a bit of noise. Now basically as I bring my strength up, you can see it basically just blurs the pixels together to reduce the noise, but you do lose information as well. So that's the whole deal with noise reduction is like, yes, it is reducing noise, but we're also losing a lot of information at the same time. So you can see like I can put preserve details up and reduce color noise, but then it's starting to look right back to where my original image is. And if I put sharpen up, it maybe it actually looks a lot worse than my original image. So I find that in Photoshop, just keeping all these pretty much down to zero. And we're going to uncheck that remove JPEG artifact because it doesn't really do much for noise reduction, in my opinion. And this is what we are going to get. You do have an advanced selection, which will allow you to do this on a per color channel basis. Um, for instance, if you have more noise in your red channel, green channel or blue channel, you can do that here. But in overall, just the strength that basically works on all the color channels. And in my opinion, this tends to work the best for Photoshop. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And we're just going to zoom in. We can turn this off and on. So there's the before and there's the after in Photoshop. All right, next we're jumping into Lightroom. I'm going to assume a lot of you guys have the Adobe Creative Cloud. So we're starting off with the programs that most of us probably already have. All right, so we're here in Lightroom Classic. We're going to go to zoom into our image. I'm in our develop module here. And we're just going to go right over here on the very right hand side to where it says detail. And we're going to go to noise reduction. And I'm going to just take this luminance slider and bring that all the way to the right. Now you can see right off the bat, we got some weird artifacts and things like that happening. But if I just take this detail slider and bring that maybe down just a little bit, this is really where we want to start bringing things in and then our contrast slider. So we actually do have a decent bit of control here in Lightroom. Actually, I think a little bit more control than in Photoshop. So it did a pretty good job. I got to say, all in all, we don't see much noise in our image. Let's just take a look at the before and after. I'm going to use my slash key so we can just take a look at this slash key. Here's the before and here's the after with this. Don't forget, at the end of this video, we're going to export all these and then bring them into Photoshop so we can see side by side comparisons from all of these different programs. You guys can just skip right to that or you can follow the link to flurn.com right down below and just see all those results. Next, we're going to take a look at Luminar AI, which uses artificial intelligence for a lot of different features, but their denoise feature does not have AI built into it. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here we are in the Luminar standalone program. This photo program is great for sky replacement and things like that. Let's take a look at our denoise. Basically, we have a luminosity denoise, which we can bring all the way up. Let's go ahead and zoom in and you can see we still have quite a bit of artifacts. Let's go ahead and bring in some color denoise as well. I'm just going to crank these all to 100 because in my opinion, you know, like that's that's what we want to see, right? Like what's the best these programs can do? Here we go. We've got some boost. You can see all in all, it did a pretty good job, but I still actually have some noise here around my subject and the hair and things like that. I think this program is trying to pre preserve a lot of detail, but it's also leaving some of the noise there as well. So we'll export that and compare it with the rest of them as well. So our next tool is built specifically for artificial intelligence noise removal. It's called Topaz Labs Denoise AI. So I've got a trial version here. You can see this is the original image. There we go. Yep, bunch of noise. Now here on the right hand side, we have a few different models for our artificial intelligence noise reduction. Let's go ahead and take a look through them. So we have clear, okay, a little bit muddy here. And then this really doesn't look like it was done much. We have a low light setting. As you can see, it's loading here. All right, and let's go to severe noise. I think we're in the severe noise category. It just takes a second to 
load. All right, even as I move the image around, all right, let's go ahead and just remove noise all the way up here. I wanna make sure that each of these programs, you know, can do its best. I'm, I'm not trying to like put any shame on any program. I really do wanna find out which is the best one. So moving around now, yes, we've reduced a lot of noise. Um, it does seem like it's enhancing some contrast, like here around the, the hair and some things like that. It almost seems like it's adding detail. And I think this is doing it with the artificial intelligence. Uh, it seems like it's adding detail to the ear. Uh, let me just take a look at this. It almost looks like an oil painting in some areas. Let's go ahead and move right up here. So this is what our AI is actually doing. It's bringing in some like detail and texture in through the hair. Let's move down to the sweater here where we might see some interesting results. You can see we almost have like a crosshatch pattern. So it's actually filling in detail uh, using AI, which is cool, um, but I don't know. In my opinion, it, do it doesn't look, we got a little bit ways to go yet. You know, like, yes, it kind of reconstructed his ear, um, but it doesn't really look like a photographed ear anymore. It kind of looks like a painting, which is interesting. I'm gonna just pop this auto on here and I'm just gonna let the program do it itself. Um, okay, here we have like kind of like a midline. This looks a little bit more like an ear and we do have some noise reduced. So all in all, yeah, pretty cool. Good, decent noise reduction. And I can see, yes, there is artificial intelligence working in the back end to fill in some details. Next, we're using DxO Photo Lab, which gets a lot of great reviews online. Again, same exact image. Here's the before. And then with our DxO Noise Technologies, uh, this one will say that if you want to use like the best features, you have to use native raw files. So I'm using a JPEG, so I don't get access to these other ones. But we're just going to go ahead and bring our luminance denoising all the way up. And we'll take a look at what we've got here. So it did leave some of this detail alone. We do see still some noise in these areas. No, no ear reproduction like we had in Topaz Labs, but all in all, we're doing okay with DxO Photo Lab. So up until now, these are all downloadable programs that you gotta put onto your computer, but there are a lot of new online tools that are going to allow you to denoise your image simply by uploading it to a website. I used a bunch of them and they were pretty similar to the results that we've gotten previously, but there was one standout called Vance AI Noise Removal. Now, again, if you guys have other online tools or other programs that you think work great, please let me know in a comment right down below because we really do wanna find the best one out there. Let's go ahead and check this online tool. It's free if you just wanna do a couple images and then if you want to be able to do batch images, you gotta pay for it. But we're starting off with the free version here. Here's the same image I went ahead and put there. Uh, it's processed, you can see upload is where you just click to upload your image. Processing where you can see everything in your queue and then here in the process. Now I've already went ahead and done this. We do have a little preview icon that we can check in there. And so let's take a look at our before and our after. So we can see here in the before, let's take a look at this ear. Yeah, quite a bit of noise. And in the after, actually it's looking pretty good. We've got a lot of noise reduction and you can see it is using AI. It's actually reconstructing details in this photo. So all in all, I'm actually pretty impressed with this Vance AI removal. And from here, you just have to download the image. You do have to create a free account to download the image. I've already done that. So we're gonna go ahead and compare all these results. Here in Photoshop, we're zooming right in to take a look at our original image. Surprise, surprise, there's a lot of noise. Now let's take a look at our Photoshop denoise. Turning this off and on, we see, yes, it did an okay job reducing noise. I still actually have a decent bit of noise and it did reduce quite a bit of detail. We're gonna be using the ear in most of these examples because it's kind of a telltale area. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Lightroom Classic. So Lightroom Classic, we can see, actually did a great job reducing noise. I don't see much noise at all in this image. It did reduce some more of the detail, as you can see in the eyeglasses here. Photoshop kept more of the actual detail in the image. Lightroom, a lot of that information is gone, but it did do a better job actually removing the noise. Next, we have Luminar. Now, they do say that this is not one of their AI tools. They do have other AI tools. Let's see how this did. It kept some details. It's kind of like halfway between Lightroom and Photoshop. It actually kept some details in like the eye area and around the lips, okay? But it did a good job reducing the noise in these areas where it's just a little bit less detail. So kind of half and half, but we still do have quite a bit of noise 
in some of these higher detail areas. It looks like it's using some auto masking to just kind of like leave those areas alone. Next we have Topaz Labs. It slaps a big old watermark on the image if you don't pay for it, but hey, we can still take a look at the ear and see what's going on here. Decent, I would say in all in all, pretty decent results. We can take a look up here. Okay, we have done a decent bit of noise reduction. Let's take a look at the original. A decent bit of noise reduction with Topaz Labs, and I gotta say, yeah, it's done a pretty good job reconstructing detail. So I am, I, I think Topaz Labs is actually a pretty decent option. It's a little bit annoying about the watermark, but hey, I'm just on a trial version here. If you pay for it, it's not gonna put that watermark there. Next, we're gonna take a look at our Topaz Photo Labs. In this case, it kind of just looks a little bit blurred, to be honest. It looks like they're just kind of blurring, especially around the ear. You can see how the ear just kind of like blurs into the background. If I take a look at this original image, there's a pretty hard line between the ear and the dark hair around there. And with this, it's just kind of blurring it all together and using some relatively simple masking techniques to mask out areas with more detail. So um, DxO, I think, you know, it's okay, but all in all, especially with this amount of blurring, um, I don't think it's gonna be the winner. Now, we're gonna take a look at the last, which is this Vance AI Online. This is a cool program. It's, well, it's not even a program, it's just online. You just upload your image and it does noise reduction and it actually does use AI. We can tell because it's actually reconstructed the part of the ear. The way they do this, by the way, is by you know processing many, many different images on the internet and basically using those photographs to rebuild parts of your photo, which is kind of crazy. But we can see it's done a pretty good job. We do have some detail here, uh, areas where there is a little bit of noise still in our image. But I gotta say, all in all, it's done a pretty good job. Let's go ahead and see the texture down here. And as we can see from the before and after, check this out. We can see a little bit of line in this texture and a little texture over there. This program is actually recreating or rebuilding some of this texture, okay? Like it's it's trying to do a better job to recreate that texture. So it's applying a big blur and then it's applying its own texture on to the subject after the fact. And I gotta say, all in all, like that's a pretty good result. Pretty interesting to see where this artificial intelligence technology stacks up. Um, even when I'm zoomed out, you can kind of see some stuff here. So anything with like complex textures, complex details, I think that this is just a little bit tough. But as far as artificial intelligence goes, I think this Vance AI is actually my winner. Uh, next, we have the Topaz Labs. You can see it's not actually trying to reconstruct much details here. It's kind of leaving what we have there. Um, it does an okay job actually reducing de uh, detail but it doesn't do any type of reconstruction here. But yeah, I don't know. I, I actually kind of prefer what the Topaz Labs is doing a little bit more. Um, even though the Vance AI might be using more AI, I think the results from the Topaz Labs are a little bit more natural. Yeah, I, in my opinion, I think the Topaz Labs might actually be the winner. Lightroom is just a quick and easy go-to. It does a little bit better of re removing noise than Photoshop, in my opinion. Um, but if you're looking for a little bit more detail, I think this Topaz Labs is the way to go. So I know I didn't do every piece of software, but I tried my best to see what were the top rated ones. And then I tried a bunch of online stuff to figure out what was actually worth presenting in this video. If you guys have extra thoughts or software that you think works really well, be sure to leave it in a comment down below. And again, don't forget, you guys can download all of these 100% large sample images. That doesn't make any sense. Full size sample images, as well as this PSD, so you can compare them on your own. On flirt.com, just follow the link right down below. Thanks again. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone.